All right, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory. Belongs to my Lord and Savior. His name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahavashai, Bahasham, Bahavakar Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahavashai, in who I reverence and honors, honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few the very few brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days and again to what you have by sham you have a shy to what you have by sham you have a shy for allowing me to minister unto the elect all right so without further ado we're just going to flow with the spirit because we're entering into some really 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 serious times and <coughs> this lesson we do these particular lessons and some may say well don't you think you're scaring the people the scripture says through the terror of Yahweh by Sham Shai, we persuade men so through the terror of what's being read through these scriptures what's about to happen that's what's going to bring our people to repentance all right so th this, these lessons ain't to say well you know just just be scared no it's so you can fear you have a shy more okay we're going to start off in matthew 24 and we're going to jump straight to verse get straight to it all these are the beginning of sorrows you see what's going on earthquakes in diverse places everywhere and another word for earthquakes is landslides, right? Tornado. That that's classed as an earthquake as well. Because what the crust from the earth, what does it happen? It splits up. And the scripture said these things would happen. Yahweh shall warn us that these things would happen. And it says, Baba Kishar, then shall he deliver you up to be afflicted. Who? We don't know, it just says they could be a mother could be a father could be a false fake friend you had in the world it could be anyone could be a neighbors right these were the things that were going to happen you should be what delivered up because what Esau's teaching people now is rat out rat out anybody that you don't see ready conforming to the standards of this world rat them out this was going on so they do this by what? Chaos. By causing the chaos, then bringing forth the order. Order out of chaos. And they do that by turning the people against themselves. And they don't need to do much to actually have it to work. They don't have to do much because people, they don't read. Really, they don't read the scriptures. They can read the sun, the daily star, which is all rubbish. But when it comes to these scriptures, they don't have a full, they don't have a reality check. These scriptures, it gives us a reality check of what, what's going on in this world. Right? That's what these scriptures do. It lets us know what's really happening. Okay? And it says, Baba Kishar, and shall kill you so some of you brothers are going to be killed and they're going to be actually thinking and doing the right thing that's why i always say all right we deal with balance but if someone is not in this truth you got to be you got to be cautious because satan can jump on in them any given moment any given moment because they're not in the faith they're liable to do anything because they think what we're saying they think it's rubbish right but we know this is the truth so we can't be swayed no matter how much Esau and the demons he sends and his agents to try to change your perception no what they're trying to put in front of you is an illusion that's all it is and you got to see it as that right that's what he's putting in front of you the scriptures deal with reality Esau deals with lies falsehoods that's a false reality that's not truth the real simulation is Yahabashah's simulation, not, not Esau's. And this is what Esau doesn't want our people to find out. 
he just wants you to be smoking weed on the Xbox, doing your new usual nine to five and not knowing anything. But the scriptures teach us to be wise in our doings. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. I keep saying it. Get ready. Get used to not being spoken well of. It says you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake, for Yahabashai's sake. So if you're going through these particular things now, good. Because it's getting your mind ready rather than someone that just came into the truth. They wanted to be spoken well of. Instant gratification. That's not building you up. That's not building you up And that can be your downfall Everybody's telling you good stuff all the time So now when it gets to them hard times Jacob's trouble, martial law what, You're going to be folding Because you ain't going to know what you're, what you're doing you, you came into this because you thought it was about entertainment Getting a name for yourself The truth ain't about that This is serious stuff it's serious. This is life and death. It's, this is serious. We're talking. This is serious. The moment you said you were Israelite, the moment you got up on them videos, you declared that you believe something. So you got to. We got to stay firm to what we believe. Because that time will present itself. Well, do you? Did you really believe what you were speaking? That's how serious this is. <laughs> And it says, Then shall many be offended and shall betray one another. I've always said this. Alright, but teaching the word, right? If you're teaching the word and brothers get together, and it's always in a constant, constant, constant an offence. Someone's always offended. You've got to ask that interview, why is he there? What do you want? You obviously have a problem with the scriptures, right? So you got you got to get onto it straight away. The issue at hand, because what is that leaven, and a little bit of leaven, leaven if the whole lump. We can't come together just because. All right, he's an Israelite. Where is he from? What is our uh, so-called Jamaica? All right, Benjamin, get in the camp. Oh, where is he from? Nigeria, Judah. Oh, come into the camp. You don't really understand what this thing is about. It's not about numbers. It's not about how many people you can get in a camp, just join. It's not about that. The Lord stayed in with a few. And if you're coming together as a camp, you need to have the same doctrine. I'm going into something completely different now, but it's a spirit that had me going into that. Same doctrine. Same mind. You can't be coming together with a different philosophy in your mind. Because what's that causing? Confusion. So many were going to be offended at the words And particular scriptures that would come out They would be offended They would feel a particular way And shall betray one another Right Shall betray one another and shall hate one another That's what, that's what we're, we're in that time now Now It says betray one another Turn on each other Does this mean you, 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 you go around not trusting anyone? No, you just use balance. But you definitely have to be cautious. Because in terms of this world's standards, this world doesn't have a true standard. This world, it teaches you to step on each other. The truth, Yahabashah didn't teach us to do that. Yahabashah said, love thy neighbor as thyself. So it's, get, it's getting cold. Where people are going to be looking out just for themselves, just what they can um, what they can get, what they can earn out of a situation, what they can gain. We're in them times. We are in them times. And it says, "Many false prophets shall arise and deceive many." You were going to have that as well, right? Deceiving people, whether it was for money, following. And they were set up by Esau. These things were said to happen. We're so lucky if I sound a bit blocked up as well. Having a bit of nasal problems. But it all comes with this truth. 
and because iniquity shall abound iniquity shall abound so when iniquity is abounding it says the love of many shall wax cold totter don't get caught up on the sm the fake smiles the fake grins the handshakes don't get caught up on that because it says the love of many shall wax cold so the people that are doing that their love is going to totter also it's going to waver right just know that the people that are talking to each other the, the couples the love it's going to totter it's going to waver the love of many that's their multitudes again it's going to wax cold it was going to totter and with that happening what was going to be brought in what was going to be brought in the martial law because iniquity shall abound what does this mean rioting pillaging going from town to town that's it all equates to that these were the these were going to be the things that were happening all right The love of many shall wax cold. We're, we're approaching that time. And you're seeing that on a scale. See, things, it's right before us, but it just needs to be increased. Because you have a beginning to everything, right? And you have an end to everything. By he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. That's what we got to do. That it doesn't matter what's in our way We have to endure until the end The promise is there It's there And as we get closer to the end That's why more opposition is here Right More opposition is here Because what we are basically Near the end We're going to have troops out here Martial law All types of things are going to be happening And I want to talk about that as well Go to Isaiah Because what's that going to bring forth? Famine You know what, you know what, you know what, you know what Go to Matthews Twenty four. I should have carried on down And it says When you shall see therefore Jerusalem right when you shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place whoso readeth let him understand Ren, let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains we already know this happened right those that were in Judea had to flee to the mountains get out of there all right and it says verse 17 left him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house so you couldn't return you didn't you didn't have none of that time you had to just leave right straight away and it says neither let him okay which is in the field return back to his clothes and one went to them that with child and to them that give suck in those days this already happened Yahabasha explained this as well before he would pass that Jerusalem would be what ransacked by Titus, by Vespasian, and so forth. But it says, But pray that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. Right? When you have to leave, it could be it could be on a winter's day, a cold winter's day. But Yahweh is going to want make sure his elect are looked after. Right? You don't have to worry about nothing. He's going to make sure his elect are looked after. Right? Verse 21, for then shall it be great tribulation. So yes, it is going to be great. Really, really, really great. Surpass anything you've seen. Right? Anything you can see, anything you've seen, the wars you can see, it's going to surpass that. For then shall it be great, great tribulation. Such as was not since the beginning of the world. Great, not small. Great tribulation. As was not since the beginning of the world to this time nor shall ever shall be so we can't really comprehend how bad it's going to be but we do know it's going to be bad because it said 
and to not nothing's going to be compared to this from the beginning of the world to this time nor shall ever be it's going to be mass destruction mass uh, rioting mass chaos but the elect are going to know why these things are happening because prior to these things taking place we were warning you look this was going to happen that was going to happen we were the same ones that you saw as you know crazy not, not knowing what we're speaking about until it actually happens and that's when people are going to want to get right verse 22 and except those days shall be shortened they shall no flesh be saved so that's why the days have to be shortened then no flesh would be saved at all if those days weren't shortened so that's why you have to try speeding up things he's speeding up that process okay but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened that's what exactly what your is doing shortening the days shortening these times okay you ever wonder why the days are going so fast right it's so called monday today watch how watch how this week's gonna go past so fast because the lord's speeding this thing up right increases uh, is <laughs> Wickedness has increased. The cry, our cries are being heard from heaven. And Yahabasha is on his way. And I know, of course, things are going to get frustrating. You know, we have to deal with people that, you know, chat shit. Right? That irk our spirit. This is what we have to deal with. But Yahabasha is on his way. I want to go to Deuteronomy 28. And while they were summoning went into Judea, this was what's it, 70 AD? From 69 to 70 AD, some went to what Europe. What about those that got stuck? Scripture are gonna explain it. Baba Kasha. This is Deuteronomy 28. And this jump straight to verse. All right, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? This is Street One Me Twenty Eight, and here it is. Street One Me Twenty Eight and Forty Nine. The Lord Jehovah, where you have a shy, shall bring a nation against thee. So it be you have a shy that done it. So any time any nation came up against us, because we talk about Esau, I, I see men saying. Esau's the wicked. Yeah, he is the wicked. Esau's the wicked. Yeah, we yeah we know that. Why would you even need that? We know Esau's the wicked. But Esau was used as a whipping stick, right? And that's it. He's used as a whipping stick for the children of Israel, and that is it. <laughs> okay, that is it. Lord Jehovah shall bring me shall bring a nation against thee from far from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle which would be what the Romans well, right? a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand a nation of fierce countenance and Romans they were known for their ferocity which shall not regard the person of old they're not going to care how old a householder may be Right? Whether it's your father that sold, your grandmother that sold, your grandfather, they're not going to care. They're just what? Carrying out the orders that were given to them. Nor show favour to the young. Right? Whether it's someone's five years old, eight years old, 13 years old, they're not going to care. Right? That's why Yahushua is building up his elect to be mentally strong in that time. Okay? nor show f favor to the young right so no favor is going to be shown to the young the martial law troops are going to be going in and out the scriptures tell you that in second Ezra 16 they shall be like madmen sparing none but destroying those that fear the lord you have by i'm sure i haven't got the um that particular chapter in our book with me but that's what's going to be happening and as i'm looking out from a stretch you can see esau he's building more and more flats more and more buildings he's building up that structure 
for that new world order. We told you these things are going to happen. And you're going to see these things in real time. The whole structure is being set up. The whole grid is being set up. And you shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land until thou be destroyed. So we, he was not leaving any food. And all, which also will not leave either corn nor wine or oil or increase of thy kind or flocks of the sheep until he have destroyed thee. So all that was getting taken away. And that's what attacked him came more. It's what controlled the food. These are tactics and more. Okay. And that's exactly what's going to happen. And we've seen Esau do that. Right? He controls the food supply. He controls his supermarkets. What comes in, what comes out. And it says, And he shall what? Besiege thee in all thy gates until the high and fence walls come down. So there was going to be besieging. Okay. Wherein thou trusted throughout all thy land, and he shall besiege thee in all thy gates. Which thou trusted. That's why we can't trust in this world. Which thou trusted. Because our people, they trust in Egypt. They trust in this place. Even if you have a, a water issue, the people, what's their mindset? Well, it'll be all right. It's just a week. And if it's a week, it may be two weeks. We get back to, 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 to good, to normal again. The people, they, they just accept the normalities of this life. That's what they do. Because they think everything, Psalms 49 and 11. And their thought is, their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. That's their thought. Which is not going to continue forever. Okay. And there's more. And this is where it gets bad. And he shall besiege you in all thy gates. Besiege the straits. Right? But that's why it's called what? The hour of temptation. Jacob's trouble. Straits. Difficulty. Until the high and fence walls come down. Alright. Wherein thou trusted. Throughout all thy land. And he shall besiege you in all thy gates. Throughout all the land. All thy gates. The gates are the entries to the cities. The martial law troops. They're going to be on every gate. Issuing out orders. That they've been given. From on top. And in the straightness. Wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee. If some are distressed. They're panicking. They're being depressed, they're being oppressed. So that's what's going to happen as well. There's going to be a lot of people being what? Distressed. People were already, it was bad enough. Just by, <laughs> what do you call it? The vax. When you have the restrictions, where you've got to stay in, you can't come out at this time. People were distressed just at that. So how more so when this thing is fully, fully in measure? And 1 verse 53 And thou shalt eat the fruit of thy own body And the flesh of thy sons that's, that's, that's starvation Anybody that eats the fruit of their own body And that's your offspring That is starvation That's someone that is desperately hungry That's someone that is starving That's like last resort And this is what was happening during what? 70 AD Under Vespasian, Titus and Domitian because in, in war, what do you do? You starve out. If in war, you starve out if you can the opposition. And you besiege the gates. And his eye that shall be what? Evil towards his brother. Right? Bear me, so I'm moving too fast. And the flesh of his sons and daughters, which the Lord thy power have given thee in the siege. So it says, the Lord, how shall I done that? Because it's him that does that. If someone's eating their children... The scripture says the Lord controls all things, the evil, the good. So ultimately, it was Yahweh that caused that to happen. Yes, but it was due to our own transgressions. Right? It was due to our own transgressions. Our 
our people weren't eating each other, it wasn't necessarily because of Esau. It, it, it led that Yahabashah used Esau as a weapon. This is what you got to understand about this truth. And it says, flesh of thy sons and daughters, and it's going to happen again today. And it's going to be the punishment for the wicked of our people. So those that want to scoff, talk shit, don't want to take this seriously, that's going to be the punishment for the wicked and even the other nations. They're going to be eating the flesh of their own offspring as well. Which the Lord Jehovah thy power have given thee in the siege and in the straightness, where thy enemy shall distress thee. So that no man that is tender, the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. And that's already happening. You still see that going on with Jake today. Right? Jake want to eyeball you. You may have good intentions, but Jake's been brought up a particular way. To hate their own, but love the oppressor. Right? And toward the wife of his bosom and the remnant of his children which shall, she, he shall leave. And this so you know, who does this fit? This fits our people. It fits our people. So that he will not give to any of them the flesh of his children. He ain't going to want to share that. Right? Whom he shall eat because he have nothing left him in the siege and in the straightness wherewith that enemy shall distress you in all thy gates. So it says in all thy gates, pretty much everywhere. Right? In all thy gates. And a tender and delicate woman among you which would not venture to set her sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness. And tenderness, her eyes shall be evil toward her husband of her bosom, toward her son, and toward her daughter, and toward her young one, that cometh out of her bosom. That from her feet, Zlachia, and toward her children, which shall she have bear, for she shall eat them for the want of all things secretly in the siege and in straightness. So it says, you were going to have those eating your offspring. So why was this going to happen? It was going to be happen due to famine. And there's only three days worth of food in these stores. So when that food's gone, what's going to happen? People are going to look for something to eat. And people are going to resort to eating what? The fruit of the trees and different herbs. So this is what it's going to lead to. It's going to lead to famine. Famine. And that famine's also going to lead to martial law because the people know you need food, food as a source. So where are we going to get this food from? Right? It's key. This is key. And we got to know these things. And guess what? There's going to be lorry strikes. All these things are going to be happening. On a large scale. Alright? And it says, Baba Kishar, and it says secretly because she ain't going to be one in ten in the husband and you got to remember men men are just going to go all out the woman's going to be last it's the man that's going to be there first okay it's the man that's going to be there first right because so, the man is naturally stronger but the woman even the women are going to be to a certain <laughs> going to have a certain stance like look no we're going to have to hide this, <laughs> this food, this arm, this leg. It's going to get bad out here. Okay. Where if thy enemy shall distress thee in all thy gates. Keep that in mind. Keep these things in mind. Let's go to Lament Bemish. Let's go to Isaiah. Got to deal with these thorns in the flesh as well. Isaiah 9 and 19 This is why Look The, the only sol solution is Yahweh Shai At the end of the day Let's go to Isaiah 9 And 20 
he shall snatch on the right hands and be hungry right so there's going to be starvation it says he was going to snatch on the right hand and be hungry that's someone that's not going to want to share their food right he shall eat on the left and not be satisfied they shall eat every man the flesh of his own arm so what read that again he shall eat on the left hand and she not, he shall not be satisfied and that shall every man eat the flesh of his own arm that's hiding food still not going to be satisfied because people in this world they're greedy and that's why the scripture says in Romans as well what are we serving the, the, the spirit not the flesh because people the life they were living mo most people we know yeah, right, you got the Buddhists and some people they can go on a fast but most people they're not ready they have not been disciplining themselves like we have so we're still going to pay off everything we've done in this time it's all going to pay off it's all going to pay off we ain't going to have to fret is it going to be worrying? of course it's going to be worrying but everything we've done that's this way this way faith this way faith comes in hey bracketty i bracket they have 777 hey, it's going to be good it's going to be perfect for the elect they're going to be looked they're going to be looked after right now look you got the spiritual demon satan trying to stop our blessings don't let no one get in your way right if you're of the elect you're of the elect ain't no one nothing nobody nothing nobody can do if you're of the elect you're of the elect come on right because i know some of you may be listening to this what am i going to do we're going to trust in your by shem you have a shy excuse me just a minute 32 minutes go a little bit longer we're going to trust in your shy we ain't got no choice but to right let's quickly go to lamentations come on now and guess what we do have the upper hand we have the advantage because again some of you brothers, your prophets, your believers of Yahabashai, you have an advantage. You know what's going to happen. And prophets, they could see the future. They were says. So we have, don't worry about this world. We have, the, we have the upper hand. Right? We have the upper hand. Because we know what's going to happen before. Do we know every single every single nook and cranny and what's gonna what's gonna happen in every single little detail? No. But we have a good idea of what's gonna happen through the prophecies, through this word. Okay. Let's go to Lamentations 4 and 8. Their visage is blacker than a coal. Why does it say their visage was blacker than a coal? Hmm? Because when our people suffer from famine, their skin goes very dark. It's called being malnutrition. Malnutrition. Right? And our people, their skin goes really, really, really dark. Right? They are not known in the streets. Okay? Their skin cleaveth to their bones. So they're unrecognizable. Okay? It is withered, it has become like a stick. Completely losing weight. They that be slain with a sword are better than that be slain with hunger. It's better to be taken out by the sword than hunger. Excuse me. And we're gonna see it. We're gonna see we're gonna see people we knew. We're gonna see you're gonna see people you grew up with. Wasting away. Hungry. Crying. That's why Yahweh Shai is building up his men. Because you're going to need to have this, a strong spirit. You're going to need to have the spirit of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. There's no, other, there's no other way. The things we're going to see. It's going to be horrific. And this is why I don't take this truth for a joke. Because I understand the severity. 1 verse 9. They that be slain with a sword are better than they but that be slain with hunger. For these pine away. Alright. Stricken through for the wants of the fruits of the field. 
stricken through, passing away, pining away. The hands of the pitiful women have sodden their children, their own children. Sodden means to boil. So they put them in a cauldron, chop, chop up some leg, some arm and put it in the cauldron. That's what it led to. They were the meat and the destruction of the daughter of my people. A lot of people, were, if you if you were to ask the average person, do you think um, cannibalism would happen here? Or a shortage of food? Some might say, well, a shortage of food, but not for too long, you know. Others would say, nah, mate, you know, I don't, be I don't believe that. You know, it's happening. And you know what? What the biggest now, America is the bigger, biggest consumer from chucking away food. And I believe probably the UK is as well. You know how many people chuck away food? And that same food you're ch you, you've chucked away all them years, you're, you're going to think about that when you're starving. Oh, I wish I, wish I never chucked away that hamburger. <laughs> you know? That roll that I was eating, you know, that potato, them greens, you gonna think, you gonna think like that. But the elect are gonna be looked after. End this one off with a bit of hope. We're not do look, we're not doing this in vain. We're not doing. I know, I know for certain, I'm not doing this in vain. I haven't come this far to lose. We ain't come this far to lose. Continue having that faith in Yahweh Shai. Excuse me, just a minute. Man. Every man's faith is going to be tested on a high, high level. Excuse me, just a minute. Alright, we've got that in Proverbs. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Cause what's the point? What's the point of you? Look, we're in the truth. What's the point of panicking? Oh, this is gonna happen. That's gonna happen. You've been serving Yahweh Shai since the time you've been serving Yahweh Shai. What has he been doing? Even today, has, hasn't he made sure you looked after? Hasn't he? Hasn't he given you the spirit to get out there, teach his word? The, it's, the, see, it's the little things you've got to remember as well What he's doing For us Right Proverbs 3 And we're going to jump straight to verse This ain't quite what I was looking for But we're still quoting Let's go to Proverbs 3 And 21 my son, let not them depart from thy eyes. Don't let these precepts depart from thy eyes. The precepts are also the laws. Yeah, King David always said, I meditate upon thy laws. Read whole, the whole of Psalms 119. I meditate upon your laws. I delight for your laws. I delight for the inward man to be renewed. Yes, we're, we're supposed to delight in the law of Yahweh by Shem. Delight in that. Because that's going to be what? Our strength and wisdom and stability in them times. We're supposed to delight in the law. Not not shun it. Right? Because all the things you were doing, it's gonna lead to that time for you to be protected. So if you were doing what was pleasing your Shai, you're gonna be looked after. Okay. My son, let on let not rem the part from thy eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall there be life unto thy soul. That's what we got to do. Right? That's what we have to do. And grace to thy neck. When shall I walk in thy way safely? Right? And thy foot shall not stumble. Okay? It's going to be what an assurity for his elect. Your foot shall not stumble. Keep these words. Keep these precepts. Wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, wherever you are. Think upon these precepts. When I lie down, I shall not be afraid. 
yeah, thou shall lie down and thy sleep shall be sweet. Right? Even though Esau's trying to upset that. Okay. The devil's trying to upset that. That's what the devil wants. Because the devil, he's not someone of peace. The devil's about anarchy, confusion. But we have peace in Yahweh Shai. Okay. Be not afraid of sudden fear. It's the world that's supposed to be afraid of sudden fear. Because they deny Yahweh Shai. They deny his works. Neither of the desolation of the wicked. You can't worry about what's going to happen to the wicked. The wicked are going to be destroyed. Right? We have to repent. Right? That's what we have to do. And Yahweh Shai, he's got the rest. Okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. When it cometh, for the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. So he's going to look after his elect. Right? He's going to keep our feet from being taken in that time. And his servants are going to eat. What's it, Isaiah 65 or 64? My servants shall eat. Right? They shall starve. They shall, they, they're going to lament. But the Lord, you have your servants shall eat. You're going to be looked after. Right? Fear not the incredulity of them that don't believe as well. Alright, so we finish off on this Isaiah 64 and 14. It says, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy and of heart, but you shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. So the elect are going to be looked after. That's when we're going to have our moment of joy. See, the world has joy, and Yahweh even told, told us that somewhere in John. You shall weep, you shall be sorrowful. We, we are weeping, we're being sorrowful right now. While the world is what? Celebrating. You see how it works? The evil, they're celebrating. They're happy. Right? One morning. And it's better to be in a house of mourning than, to that, and than in a house of mirth. But we're going to get that joy from Yahweh by Sham, Yahweh Shai. Right? All that pain, all them tears are going to be wiped away. This is oppression. But Yahweh Shai, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai is going to deliver us. Right? So until the next time. Shalom to the hopeful elect and I hope this was edifying whoever needed to hear this. Shalom.